Waking up in a cell, this ain't it. Life is a living hell, this ain't it. Food tastes like trash, this ain't it. Lord, please forgive my past, this ain't it. What you doing in the street, is it worth it? Death the prison, only two things, that's for certain. We must do a better job of educating, guiding, and raising our children. A couple days ago, while I was in the library, um, a young man came into the library. He was a he was a black brother, no older than probably about 22, 23. Um, he came in there and he asked the, the uh, clerk for a, a, a personal responsibility form. So the clerk gave him the form and told him to write what he wanted on another form so he can give it to the librarian so she can give him the form. So next thing I know. I hear the youngster say, hey, cuz, how do you spell responsibility? An older gentleman tells him how to spell responsibility. Next thing he said was, hey, cuz, how do you spell form? The older dude told him how to spell form. Um, and then he said, once he told him how to spell form, he said, This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. He said, man, I thought form had an eye in it on crap and started laughing. Mm. I'm standing there in complete disbelief. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Um, this youngster, he got a, 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 a gag of tattoos on his face. Most of them are gang tattoos, but he also got like logos and all types of different cartoons. I think I've seen a Gumby tattoo on his face. He had all types of crazy stuff on his face. So this is all just um, making my blood boil because I'm sitting there like, here we got a young brother with gang tattoos all over his face and he can't read or he can't spell. But every couple seconds, he's saying, cuz this, cuz that, on crib this. I just thought to myself, and this somebody so called little homie, wherever hood he was from, he got some older dudes who he considered his big homies. And this what they taught him. They didn't teach him nothing. He don't know how to spell form. Four letter simple word to spell. He, he didn't know how to spell it. They thought it had an I in it. And then thought that was funny. So it just made me think like, so 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 this is what the big homies in the hood is teaching the youngsters. How to end up in prison with a bunch of garbage on his face and he can't read or write. Just this thought made me like, how many, how many more generations will we continue to mislead our young people into a, a life that, that ain't worth nothing and, and don't teach them nothing, but to how to destroy themselves, how to destroy their lives, how to, how to hurt their families, how to, how to do what I feel like I did, uh, help uh, make my mama sick from stress me being in here. But they got somebody out there that they call a so-called big homie. Teaching them nothing. And that's a, 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 a big thing that's going on in um, the inner cities, uh, underprivileged communities. Our, our youngsters are being raised by people who are teaching them all the wrong things. And they're also being raised online. They're letting the internet raise them. And I believe that is a, 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 a big, big factor as to what's going on with all the youngsters out there uh, killing each other, committing crimes, and all online just acting a fool. It got to do with uh, the parents. You start the household. The parents got to do a better job. I know for sure I'm, 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 I'm a child that came from a household where my parents should have did a better job. I wouldn't be sitting in prison right now. And for me, 
See, Ms. Yancey, today, it, 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 it broke my heart. It broke my heart because even me, when I first came into prison at 22, 23, I, I knew how to spell form. And this, this young dude, just by how he was speaking, uh, he tattoos all over his face. I'm like, man, he, 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 he completely misled. He ain't got a lick of guidance. Like, I wouldn't have, I, I wouldn't have been able to even say, I thought it had an eye in it on crib and start laughing. I, I, I would have felt embarrassed. He, he didn't have no shame in it. So, um, I say all that to say, man, we, us that grew up in the inner cities, we, we got to do a, a much, much better job of educating, guiding, and raising our children. Because uh, that's the only way this is going to stop. It, it, it starts in the home. So, uh, yeah, I encourage all the parents out there, please, take control of your kid's life. Make sure you're giving them the proper education. Uh, make sure you let them know them dudes that they hanging out with on the streets ain't 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 finna give them nothing but a, a trip to prison or or some other uh, destructive uh, consequence. So, it's uh, my words of wisdom for today. Thank you. You know, um, you mentioned tattoos. Let's talk about tattoos a little bit. You know, I have eight tattoos, but, you know, if I wear a long sleeve shirt, you, you would never know. You know, if I go, have to go to a business meeting, I can cover them up. But a lot of these kids, they are, they're plastering their faces with, you know, eye busters, whack outs, all that stuff. And, and cartoon characters, like you said, just on their face. And they think it's cool when they're 17, 18, 19. But talk to these kids, man, because it's not going to be easy when, you know, you're 30, 35, maybe done with the street and everything. And you go out there trying to look for a job. And you have all this scribbling and stuff on your face. Uh, talk to talk to these kids about the importance of not ruining your life in that aspect. Yeah, so uh, that's, that's interesting. You asked me that because I, I had a I had a cellmate. Um, he was he was depressed. He had all the same type tattoos, eye busters all over his face, everything over his face, and. Uh, he was, when he got it, he said he, he he didn't care. He was proud. He was happy. He loved him. But once he, as he got older, he became uh, more self-aware. He became more educated. And he started understanding what life is. He didn't even like looking in the mirror no more. Because he literally told me in the cell, like, bro, I look like a fool, bro. He said, man, I got all this stuff on my face. He said, even like when I go to, uh, uh, talk to females or meet females. He like, yeah, they talk to me in the beginning, but I could tell they don't take me serious. Who gonna take somebody serious with all this junk on their face? Waking up in the cell, this ain't it. Life is a living hell, this ain't it. Food tastes like trash, this ain't it. Lord, please forgive my past, this ain't it. What you doing in the street, is it worth it? Death the prison, only two things, that's for certain.